Hello, my name is Donette Douglas and I'm the station manager here at WTJR Channel 16 in Quincy, Illinois. We are working together, yes, together, till Jesus returns right here at the studio. You see this program behind the scenes is taped here weekly, 222 North 6th Street. And I'm excited about what God has done and is doing and is going to do here at WTJR because you know what? This is His station. This is God's ministry. And you know, God always has a plan. And it's a great plan. It's a perfect plan. He provides everything we need. Yes, He does. I'm thankful for that. And right here at this Thanksgiving weekend, I pray you've taken time to sit and focus or count your many blessings, as the old hymn says. Count your many blessings. Name them one by one. Count your many blessings. See what God hath done. I love that old hymn, and it's so true. When you start sitting down and listing your blessings, things you're thankful for, wow, there will be many, many, many. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, we get so caught up in the negative in our life, we don't think we have any blessings. But you know what? That's not true. And I pray that you do spend time thanking God or counting your many blessings this Thanksgiving weekend. As you know, we've been thanking God or praising God that he is moved by prayer. Prayer is a privilege that we have that we can enter into the throne room of God and talk to Almighty God. Think about that. Almighty God, the one who created all things. Our Heavenly Father. Yes, we can enter into the throne room and talk to him. Today I want to use the scripture from the Old Testament in Leviticus chapter 22, verse 29. Leviticus 22, verse 29. And when you will offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving unto the Lord, offer it at your own will. As I said, prayer is a privilege. It's the condition of the heart. Yeah, it'll tell you the condition of your heart. Prayer will, real quick. What kind of an attitude do you have? Maybe you've been angry at God, so you don't even pray. Or maybe you don't believe that prayer, God hears and answers prayer, so you don't talk to God. But... Maybe you do believe in prayer. Maybe you do know that God is moved by your prayers. At this Thanksgiving time, and this scripture had the word Thanksgiving in it, I looked up the meaning for Thanksgiving in the Bible dictionary for this particular word, how it was used in this particular verse. It's to give praise to God, Thanksgiving in songs of worship, a hymn of praise, thanksgiving choir or procession or line or company, thank offering, sacrifice of thanksgiving. Talks about the sacrifice of thanksgiving a lot uh, in the Old Testament and its confession. Thanksgiving is good, very good. It's good for us and I know God likes it. <laughs> he likes for us to praise him. Take time to be thankful. Don't you like it when people take time to be thankful to you? When you do something or say something or help them with something? You know, we're not supposed to have to want or do things to get that pat on the back for man's applause, but we do it because of the love in our heart. There you go. There's that condition of the heart again. And that's the same reason we should give thanksgiving unto God, give praise unto God. Because of love in our heart for him. When we love someone, we want to spend time with them. When we pray and talk with God, we're spending time with him. And that relationship gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Amen. Now, I looked up the word Thanksgiving in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. It says the act of giving thanks, a prayer expressing gratitude, a public Acknowledgement or celebration of divine goodness, 
And if the T is capitalized on Thanksgiving, of course, it refers to Thanksgiving Day that we celebrate here in the United States. But, you know, we really need to thank God every day, don't we? Amen. Well, I went into the um, Blue Letter Bible. I use that Blue Letter Bible on the computer a lot. I put in the word Thanksgiving. And I'm going to share verses that have the word Thanksgiving. There were 28 times in 27 verses that the word Thanksgiving was used in the King James Version. Uh, starting in Nehemiah 12:46, For in the days of David and Asaph, of old, there were chief of the singers and songs of praise and thanksgiving unto God. Now, if you've read the Psalms very often, sometimes at the beginning of the Psalm, it will say that it was the song of David or, As or um, Asaph. And they were the musicians. They talked about that also in the Psalms. So when we give those songs of praise, that's a thanksgiving unto God. That's a gratitude, a heart of gratitude, let's say, unto God. In Psalms 26, 7, we read that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works. We need to be thankful and we need to tell others. That also expresses our thanksgiving when we're telling others what God has done in our life. In Psalms 50, verse 14, Offer unto God thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High. Offer unto God thanksgiving. Psalm 69, 30, I will praise the name of God with a song, and will magnify him with thanksgiving. Gratitude in my heart. Amen. Psalms 95, 2. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. So thanksgiving, attitude of the heart, a joyful noise, psalms. Whoa, they're all going together, aren't they? We hear that in these scriptures. Uh, psalms 100, verse 4, very familiar scripture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Psalms 107, 22. And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. There again, praise unto God. Glory and honor to God. Amen. Thankful heart. <laughs> A thankful heart expressing that to God. Amen. Psalms 116, verse 17. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. Psalms 147, 7. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our God. And in Isaiah 51, verse 3, For the Lord shall comfort Zion. He will waste all her, he will comfort all her waste places. He will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. I want to read that one more time. Isaiah 51, 3. For the Lord shall comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places. He will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Wow. God is there for his people. God will be there for his children. God will help those that cry out. And he turns, <laughs> that desert will be like a garden. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? He will comfort those that are in those waste places, those hard places. Wow. Then joy and gladness will be found there. Ooh. 
You know that song, or um, the Psalms that says, joy comes in the morning. Weeping may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. God is faithful to us, isn't he? We have so much to be thankful for. Some of you have coming out, have coming out of that wilderness time. Right now, you're seeing where God has brought you through a hard time. You can have that joy and gladness in your heart. In Philippians 4, 6, another very familiar scripture. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And I believe it says in the next verse, and the peace that passeth all understanding is what we will have an experience if we what? Be careful or anxious for nothing, but in everything, prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. You know, we always want to be sure to thank God for the blessings, for his presence in our lives, for what he's already done for all of us at Calvary through Jesus Christ. That our sins could be forgiven by the blood Jesus shed at Calvary. That we could be reconciled back to God. That we could have the hope of glory in heaven for eternity if we would call upon the name of the Lord. It says, whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So if you're having a hard time today, it says, let your requests be made known to God. But do it with thanksgiving in your heart. In Colossians 2, 7, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Again, we're getting back to the attitude of our heart. Are we thankful to God for what he has done? Just today at Calvary, you know, if you can't think of anything today, you can think about Jesus Christ shedding his blood, paying a debt he didn't owe. We had a debt we couldn't pay because scripture says all have sinned, fallen short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I pray today you've called upon the name of the Lord, that you have confessed your sin. Ask him to come into your heart and be your Lord and Savior. Yes. Do that. Do that. And then you will have that thanksgiving in your heart. Because you will know that if God never did another thing for you, he gave his all. He did his best work at Calvary when he gave his son Jesus. So that you and I could have that hope of glory. Eternal life in heaven with God. Amen. In Colossians 4, 2, it says, continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. And we talked about that verse a few weeks ago on behind the scenes. Continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. See, thanksgiving has a whole lot to do with prayer. Because like I said, it's getting back to that attitude of our heart. Are we grateful? Do we let God know that we are thankful? We need to. Do we let others know we're thankful that what God has done in our life? Amen. Revelation 7, 12 says, saying, amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. All the glory, all the honor goes to God and God alone and God alone. I'm going to close with reading from Colossians 3, verse 15 through 17. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also you are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. So I want to encourage you to take time this Thanksgiving weekend and every day following and give thanks unto God for what he is doing, maybe what he's already done in your life, what he's going to do, but be thankful 
because he's ever present with you. He's there to hear your prayers. He cares about you so much. So we praise God because he is moved by our prayers. Basically, I believe when we have thanksgiving in our heart. Amen. Amen. Well, I want to read a couple of, well, I want to read a card to you. First of all, it says, God is so good. Uh, from Colchester, Illinois, WTJR, hoping uh, you harvest a basket full of blessings for a very happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for your faithfulness, the word of the living God that encourages us, guides, and we praise his holy name. That is so true, and I'm so thankful for WTJR myself because I get fed watching the programs here too. Amen. This is a note that I got from Martha Garvin, and I wanted to share this with you. She copied a page out of a book, Chapel in the Clouds, and it says this note and a book, I've enclosed, I've enclosed the page that a missionary sent her. I thought you would find this as interesting as I did. You have helped me take the gospel around the world, even to Costa Rica, through shortwave. Gratefully, Martha Garvin. And this was the uh, letter that she had received. Hi, Martha. I'm not sure of your name, as it is hard to make out on shortwave in the mountains and jungles of Costa Rica. Musical Memories is mentioned on page 36 of the enclosed book, and the effect it has had here that night of April 15, 2012. You have a son who is an opera singer. I would, it would be nice if one day he would come to the chapel and praise, yes, and sing for them. Amen. But anyway, on the back is a copy of the page, and he talked about the song, The Old Rugged Cross, and how he heard it through shortwave, <laughs> uh, musical memories, and how it touched his life. See, we never know what God is doing through Christian television, where he is reaching and who he's touching. I am thankful I know he is doing a work because when his word goes out, it goes out with a purpose. It does not return void. I am so thankful to be a part of the ministry work here at WTJR and to be a part of the Christian television network. Amen. Well, coming up, <clears throat> this next week, we have soul winning training on Fridays at 930. We have worship and prayer. And at 10 o'clock, and it depends on the weather, we will go out on the streets. We do train using the soul winning script from The Great Awakening that you can watch right here on WTJR. Also, we have prayer in the studio at WTJR every Monday from 1 to 2. And we invite you to join us. We'd love to have you come and pray with us. We also, uh, if you have a prayer request, you can call in at 217-228-1616. And Karen will be more than honored or glad to um, pray with you. You can also email your prayer request here to WTJR at TV16 at WTJR.org. Be sure and call in your praise reports also, okay? But we uh, want to stand with you in faith, and we do believe in prayer. As I've said before, if you pray and believe, you will receive. If you pout and doubt, you do without. And I think that is very true. Amen. We're still collecting the postage stamps and the aluminum pop tabs. You can either mail them or drop them off here by the studio at 222 North 6th Street here in Quincy. The shoebox ministry, it's almost to that drop-off date. But uh, here's a list. You still have a few days this weekend that you could get some items together. So there's the list. Be sure and mark if it's for a boy or girl and their age. And drop it off here by the WTGR studio by Monday, November the 30th, 10 a.m. in the morning. Kyle will be here to pick them up and then take them on down to Texas and then to Mexico. So 10 a.m. Monday morning, November 30th. Coming up on WTJR Classics, we have part two of the Thanksgiving Live program that aired last week. It was recorded in November 2007. Uh, I hosted that program, and the guest was the Murdy family. And also on this part two, Mike 
Wartman will be bringing forth a message for Thanksgiving. You can watch that on Wednesday at 10 p.m., Thursday at 4.30 p.m., and Saturday at 12 noon. Also, the Billy Graham special, The Cost of Christmas, will be airing in December, and you can see the uh, days and the times right there on your screen. We have been really priv honored to be able to bring you these special Billy Graham programs, and um, we know they are reaching out and touching lives for Jesus. Amen. On Outreach Connection this coming week will be Bishop E.L. Warren and Timothy Southers. They were with Life Christian University here in Quincy, Illinois. That will air on Monday, November uh, 30th at 9.30 a.m., Wednesday, December 2nd at 9 p.m., and Saturday, December the 5th at 7 p.m. And, of course, Outreach Connection is hosted by Gary Schlockavir. Coming up on Pastor Speaks this next week, we have Pastor Mike Floyd. He pastors at Waterford Union Church in Lustown, Illinois. The message is, What is Sickness? That will air on Sunday, November 29th at 2 p.m., Tuesday, December 1st at 1.30 p.m., and on Wednesday, December the 2nd at 7.30 p.m., right here on WTJR. And our upcoming family movie will be Saint Street. That will be airing on Saturday, um, December the 5th, and Sunday, December the 6th. On Saturday, you can watch it at 8 p.m. On Sunday the 6th, you can watch it at 11.30 p.m. And at the very end of Behind the Scenes today, we will be showing a promo of this movie. And I'm uh, just so thankful we have had many really good movies. And right now with Christmas coming up, we've got some Christmas-type movies coming up for you to watch. And I'm thankful this last year we've been able to have our family movie night and um, have such good movies to show you. Amen? Amen. Well, you know, like I said, it's Thanksgiving time. It's Thanksgiving weekend. Um, I pray as you get together with family and friends that you really enjoy the fellowship. I pray that if you have an opportunity, you will tell others about Jesus. I pray you will give thanksgiving and tell about the wondrous works that God has done in your life. Great time to share, yes, with your family. You know, God so loved the world. He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We should so love the world. We should so love our family and friends that we will give. And by giving, we can tell them about Jesus. That's the best gift you can give. I know many people are going to be out this weekend, Black Friday and shopping, all concerned about that physical gift. But the best gift you can give anybody is to tell them about Jesus Christ because Jesus will change their life. You know, everyone is going to spend eternity somewhere, but it's a choice that we individually have to make. God made a way through his son, Jesus Christ. And he wanted, Jesus said he came to seek this and save the lost. He went that none would perish so it's up to us to make that choice. We can accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior and walk with Him each day and then spend eternity in heaven. Or we can deny Christ, get out there on our own, and I'm telling you, <laughs> to do things your own way don't work out very well. We look to things in the world to bring us pleasure, you know, and there's not going to ever be enough things in this world to, to please this flesh, I guarantee you. And it will lead to death, destruction. It will lead to hell. The Bible tells it. Those who do not receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior, he will say, depart from me. I never knew you. This Thanksgiving, this Christmas season, share Jesus with everybody you meet. Everybody you meet. Whether you're in, waiting in the line in the grocery store, or you're at the gas station pumping gas, out on the street, at work. Maybe you're in the hospital visiting someone. But tell 
everyone about Jesus. Let your light shine brightly. And most of all, give thanks unto God for his many blessings. We're not lost. Just pull over. Where are you going, man? What does this loser want? Be nice. It's Christmas Eve. Hey, pal. What can I do for you? It was one year ago today. I should have turned back. I was tired. You said you'd be home hours ago. This is ridiculous, Percy. I know I did. I fell asleep. I'm sorry. The kids and I are waiting. You promised. I thought I needed to make more money, but... Go home to your family, Percy. I was always running behind. Look, I'm running a little late, so if you don't mind. And whose fault is that? Excuse me? It's okay, honey. Daddy didn't mean to miss your play. He was working. He's always working. Yeah, he might as well get used to it, Sophie. He's always late. I neglected the most important thing in my life, and now it's gone. too late for me, but it's not too late for you. I think you need some help. The world opened up and it fell through the cracks I ran, but I was too late. A mystery no lies beneath the soil Annie. and I'm the one to Matthew, Sophie. So sorry. Can I help you get your things? No. This is all I need. I needed the money. I didn't know where else to turn. But I'm out now. Please know that. This is what happens to do-gooders on my Saint Street! How'd you get involved with those guys anyways? People make mistakes. It's letting go of them that can be hard. That's what forgiveness is all about. I'm so sorry. You've been right all along. Can you forgive me? Of course I forgive you. And I'll be gone tomorrow. I believe you. How true it is that you're never gonna realize anything. We don't realize what we got is heaven until it's gone. WTJR, licensed to Quincy, Illinois, maintains a public file for public inspection at our studio at 222 North 6th Street in Quincy, Illinois. Hours of our studio location, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 9 a.m. to noon on Friday. 